All right. Now that's the painted room. So, I'm quite happy with uh, how this has turned out, actually, uh, even though I've done a completely horrible job. Uh, so we've got to either two or three coats of white paint on the walls, and uh, you really can't tell uh, that uh, there's been any horrible old uh, 70s uh, style wallpaper at all. We really have decent coverage, uh, and I've taken extra care to do a good job uh, in the corners and up by the runners by the ceiling. So, uh, just because that's uh, where you're gonna rest your eyes easily and if that's uh, poorly done, uh, then uh, you're gonna notice it. So the ceiling itself actually just has uh, one coat of paint uh, and I think I'm gonna keep it that way because I really like the way this looks. It's uh, in some places you have uh, some of the coarse wood just shining through and uh, that gives it a, a nice texture. Like, I, I was afraid this was going to look uh, completely cheap and horrible, but uh, I actually really like the way it's turned out. I genuinely like that. I'm completely surprised. I thought it, gonna, I thought it was going to be horrible. Uh, so I have since moved on to the next room and started working with the ceiling here. Uh, so cutting this ceiling down, I did a much better job, so that was less of a bother. Uh, but uh, to make up for that, uh, the runners, uh, the paper on them was uh, glued uh, in a much inferior way. So I've had to really work on those and just rip all the horrible papery stuff off of us. Just a couple spots where it's actually attached well enough to be uh, useful, well enough to not make me afraid it's going to come down on its own. Uh, so I'm just about to start painting this room. I'm going to still have to vacuum the ceiling, uh, vacuum the floor, get rid of the old uh, ceiling there. Uh, and uh, Turn this room into basically the same thing as over there. <laughs> it really is amazing how much brighter the room becomes when you have a white ceiling and the white walls. Like it, the, light, the lamps, are, uh, the, the identical lamps in these rooms, uh, but uh, this room is uh, just so much brighter to be in and so much uh, uh, fresher compared to the other one, which still has the wallpaper on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're uh, walking into another world, a much cheaper world, granted with a white paint, but uh, also a much brighter world. Okay, from ceiling to floor, we're done painting. This has taken a ridiculous amount of work. I was not prepared, but alas, we are finally done. We've got all the paint in place that's uh, supposed to be in place. Red accents turned out better than I 
dead hope. Uh, I was afraid it's going to look really tacky, but uh, it's looking pretty okay. It's a, a nice contrast. Uh, we'll have to see how well it uh, actually matches with the floor and everything in place. Uh, so I went to the effort of actually manually painting all the edges of the uh, door frames. Uh, did a pretty shoddy job at all of it. It's, it looks good at a distance, but it doesn't look good up close. But you know, for stuff like this, a distance is what you care about. And uh, what more? Oh yeah, we. Uh, I don't recall if I made a point about it, but this place, this area actually had a huge tear in it uh, where just the wallpaper and everything was falling off. It has a big hole and it still does. I just painted everything over and it looks fine. Like this was incredibly obvious before that there were chunks missing, but uh, zoom back out a bit and it's just not a problem, it looks just fine. And even here we have like, uh, let's see, this is, uh, no, here we have like pure uh, cardboard backing. This is wallpaper sheet one, and this is wallpaper sheet two, and this is wallpaper sheet three. There are <laughs> three different layers of wallpaper on this. Uh, all of them painted white. You can't bloody well see the difference, it just, looks like a wall. Uh, I haven't really done anything to the windows because these are gonna have to, I have to give these guys some attention this summer probably, so I don't want to put any effort into them. Uh, depending on what I can arrange, we might be replacing all of them because they're horrifying, horrible old windows. They leak so much heat. And yeah, we're just about moving over to do the floor and if we enter through the red arch uh, I've started rolling out some of the uh, carpety stuff uh, like plastic foam that goes underneath the floor which uh, is a major bother uh, I've never done this before, I don't know how it's supposed to be done just for the instructions on the roll but you know you roll it out and you Hold it down, you put the floor on top, and you supposed to leave a roughly one centimeter gap at the ends, which is proving to be almost impossible because either the roll is bent or the room is bent or both, because it's just not lining up anywhere. We have some gap there, we have uh, some gap there, no gap in the middle, and plenty of gap over there in the corner. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is just to start laying down some of the floor and uh, see what happens. It's probably gonna even out and turn a lot more uh, less bendy and horrible. Once we get like one line of flooring going it's uh, probably gonna be a lot nicer. Uh, I tried weighing it down with these like shelf pieces but it's, it just turns into a big mess. Uh, so yeah we're gonna start opening up floor packets and this is the flooring I have. Uh, this of course has no lining on it. It's the cheapest I could possibly find at uh, about four euros per square meter. So the, I bought 70 square meters of the stuff, I think. I think about 70, I don't know. I have like a huge pile of floor. Hey, here we have the note, what's it say? Basic. Class AC323. So this is supposedly pretty good quality, pretty durable. Six years guarantee, yeah, whatever. Made in Germany. Uh, cheapest flooring on the market. Not from Ikea. Uh, Ikea was actually really expensive, but over twice the price. Uh, so yeah, hoping this is going to be decent. It's something like somewhat dark wood colour about the same as the piss, piss poor old <laughs> uh, carpet in this room I guess. Yeah, never done this before. I think you, you just start placing these. You saw one of the end off and then you start with the end piece and just build build your whole room up. So yeah, total price for all this, like this huge pile was like 500 euros which is 
not so bad. Uh, would have been free tart about the price if I bought it local. So actually I had to go to Sweden to buy this. But yeah, definitely worth the day of travel that took. Right, let's uh, enter through the other red yard archway and get to work laying some floor, I guess. <laughs> 